Reddit by Reddit recap. Redditors with so's who talk in their sleep. What is the creepiest thing they've said? My fiancé is super active while sleeping. It used to bother me but now I'm used to it. One time I asked her to give me her pillow while she was sleeping and she said, Okay. And then pulled it out from under her head and threw it at me. She slept the rest of the night without a pillow and was quite pissed when she woke without a pillow and after I told her what she did. My so frequently moves around the pillow and the covers when she's asleep. Often resulting in her not having a pillow. And not letting me put one under her. The first time she did it she called me a snake for stealing the pillows. I'm still not sure if she fully believes that it's not me. Not 100% a talking in her sleep story but. When my so is stressed she has dreams about spiders crawling everywhere. One night I was reading and she was asleep. She suddenly sat up and just stared at me. I asked her what's up. So, the spiders. Me, what spiders? So, there are spiders coming out of the poster. Emmy, there are no spiders. So, no the spiders. Emmy, go back to sleep. Then she just collapsed back into her pillow back asleep. When she first sat up and stared at me I thought this was suddenly a horror movie and I was dead. Not my so but still kinda funny but very scary at the time. So little me had a nightmare and went to my parents room to tell my mom and get a cuddle so I could go back to sleep. I knocked on the door and opens it very quietly so only my mom wakes and not my dad. Since mom is a very light sleeper and dad a heavy one. I get in and at that moment dad jumps out of bed and shouts I do not want to see you here again. I fled up the stairs and cried and mom followed me and told me she didn't know what happened either. Dad says he doesn't remember it but I sure do. Woke up to go to the bathroom one night. As I move to get up my boyfriend goes. Don't go out there. Thinking he's awake and joking with me I go oh yeah. Why? He sits upright eyes wide open and goes out there. And flopped back down asleep. I held it for the rest of the night. Lol I'd have done the same thing. My gf will walk to a window and say they are watching us and just look at street lamp. First time it was really creepy. Now I just say it's bedtime and lightly pull her back to bed before she stands up. Not so but my son came into my room while I was napping and I said, we need to decapitate them and take them back to the lab. You are not actually his parents. He's a kid genius who made robot parents to replace his real parents after the accident. I guess there must be another kink in the memory replacement process. This is like the third batch he's replaced this week. I'm the sleep talker but the best I've ever been told about was. No. None of them have heads. My husband sleep talks and my favorite was when he told me to close a ticket. He was an ad manager, and I told him I didn't work for him. Then he yelled at me to get it done. I said you're a mean boss and went back to sleep. I've got so many and should write them down but I'm so used to it by now. And I'm not the sleep talker but I once woke myself and him up by yelling the power of Christ compels you. I had been having a very vivid nightmare about seeing a black entity floating in our bedroom by the bathroom door. In my dream. I woke my husband up and we turned the lights on chasing it down the hallway because we didn't want whatever it was to hurt our daughter. As we were chasing it away. I was yelling the power of Christ compels you and I woke up screaming it. Thing is that I'm not particularly religious and that's not really something I would say at all. It was so bizarre. I've only had a dream that realistic a couple times in my life. I talk in my sleep. And my girlfriend told me this story after we woke up. I had evidently. Turned toward her. Shook her with my face. And yelled they took my goddamn arms Johnny. Before slumping back over and going back to sleep. Not so much creepy as it is odd. But I overheard my wife accurately recite my social security number aloud whilst sleeping. When I told her about it the next morning she said I had to have been making that up. As she definitely does not know my social security number. I didn't believe her and made her swear to me and on our marriage that she wasn't lying. And she said that if someone was pointing a gun to my head and that he would pull the trigger unless she accurately recited my social security number. She'd tell me she loved me and that she'd remember me fondly once I died. It was the oddest thing. 
I think it's possible that she may have seen the numbers briefly at one point. But doesn't consciously remember them. We supposedly dream with faces of people we've seen in our lives. Even if they were random strangers we've passed by in the street and never given a second thought to. So maybe it's registered in her subconscious but not her conscious memory? She's starting shaking me and yelling that the financial reports don't match. She's an accountant. I apparently did the same thing to my partner once while taking a financial management course at university. Except I had also recently kayak with dolphins. So not only was I stressing about financial reports in my sleep. They were reports for the dolphins. And from the sounds of it the dolphins weren't happy. My dad used to have dreams about cranes when he was a crane operator. He would use my mom's arm as the controls for his crane dreams. Oh I feel this as a fellow accountant. My mother loves to still bring this story up. Happened back during my 8th grade year of school. One morning she walked in to see if I was awake. So she asked are you awake? To which I apparently said I don't know. Is it meteors or while dead asleep? I apparently shouted for my mum at the middle of the night and when she came running apparently all I said was those pineapples. Those pineapples. I have no idea why I suddenly got passionate about a fruit. My girlfriend, now wife, and I were sleeping in my bed in college. Due to not being able to control the temperature in my room, which was kept at a tropical 105 degrees despite it being a brutal winter. We always slept with the window open and my bedroom door cracked for circulation. I also lived on the ground floor apartment of a brownstone in Boston. In the dead middle of the night. She starts smacking me. GF babe. Babe. I startle awake. What? GF. Whispers. There's someone standing in the doorway. Muffled whimpers. Adrenaline starts pumping. I prepare to fight the intruder. I quickly scanned the room for something to make an impromptu weapon out of. Finally my eyes adjust to the dark. I'm fully awake and I see that no one is actually there. Me no there isn't. You're sleeping. GF muffled laughing. She had zero recollection of the entire incident the next morning. I had to recount to her how she almost made me crap my pants in the middle of the night. My GF fell out with me while she was sleeping one night. She asked me to pass the light up picture frame and when I asked her what she was talking about she shouted fine. I'll get it myself and actually started walking about the room looking for something. It's not really creepy but I don't get a chance to tell the story often. Did she ever find the light up picture frame? If not you should buy one for her as a gift. Wild women everywhere. My girlfriend. I'll have what she's having. I was told by my so that I said. Give her a lobotomy. Right through the temple. I hope your so is not a neurosurgeon because I'm pretty sure through the temple is the scenic route to lobotomy. I'm not sure what's more terrifying than your so sitting upright and saying they're here only to collapse back into their deep slumber. Apparently your 21 year old daughter knocking on your adjoining wall whispering mum I I I I their bark. I was the 21 year old and my mum threw an absolute fit at me and made me sleep in another room for a week. My girlfriend will do this every so often. But this one time she was having a really bad nightmare and she just straight up screamed at the top of her lungs right into my face. I woke up with an adrenaline rush that is still my closest guess for what cocaine feels like. I woke her up by stroking her hair and whispering to her that it would be okay. And she thanked me the next morning. Sorry that must have been terrifying in the moment but I can't stop laughing trying to visualize this scenario ha ha ha. I thought she was awake but we were laying in bed last week and this is how it went. GF. I'm gonna sh myself. Me. What? No go to the bathroom. GF. Uck. I'm gonna sh the bed. Me. Why don't you go to the bathroom if you've got a poop? GF. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm trying to make these trees grow. Just shut up. This is when I realized she was sleeping and started laughing hysterically. Which made her angry. She didn't remember any of it the next morning. I talk in my sleep regularly. One instance comes to mind. My so said she was going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. On her way back. 
I said it's following you and went back to sleep. I think this is the scariest I've read on here. Imagine sleepily going back to bed while you hear it's following you. I would not sleep again that night. Initially he just mumbled something I couldn't understand. I turned around to face him and asked him what he had said. He responded in his sleep don't worry about it and then laughed in this villainous way that I've never heard him use while awake. It honestly creeped me out. Well at least I don't have Alzheimer's. She's acting like a bee. Of course I stole her Valium. Were you missing Valium? Not my so. But my roommate said this in his sleep at 4am. Are you texting demons? Oddly high pitched laugh you are friends with demons. I come in to go to bed. Lay down and I'm about to turn the bedside lamp off. Cue him turning over. Eyes still shut. Obviously still asleep. Don't turn the light off. I'm confused now. Why? They need to see. Now I'm freaking out wondering who is in our bedroom that I haven't noticed. Who needs to see? The bugs. Why do the bugs need to see? To read. This happened months ago and I still haven't let it go. I mean it makes sense. You don't want to be responsible for undereducated bugs in your house do you? Best comment of the day. One time I fell asleep during a movie that I was watching with my mom. It happens all the time. The next morning we were talking about the movie and I mentioned how I fell asleep and don't remember much of it. The next thing she said was, well you woke up at the end for a little cause we were talking about the credits. I literally had an entire conversation about the cast of movie and who plays who with my mom whilst I was asleep and it seemed so real that my mom thought I was awake. Also another time I plugged my phone in while I was asleep 